It's a new year and a new beginning. I'm Alicia Kelly and welcome to the very first episode of the Nissan Nismo Insider for 2015. Now this year marks the third year for Nissan in the V8 Supercars Championship and as a team we're lucky to have had the same quartet of drivers and the same major sponsors. This year however, there's a few changes. While our driver lineup will remain intact, the colours of our cars will get a makeover to accommodate a fresh batch of new sponsors. We'll let you know a little bit more on that soon, but what we can reveal is a shift for some of the behind the scenes players within our team. On the engineering front, George Cummins steps in as Rick Kelly's engineer for the 2015 season. George was an engineer at Dick Johnson Racing before pursuing a career overseas that led him to the pinnacle, Formula One. This year, George has returned to Australia to rejoin the V8 Supercars Circus as Riggs Engineer, replacing longtime team member Eric Pender. Todd Kelly and James Moffat have also had an engineering change, effectively swapping their crew chiefs. Perry Kappa will call the shots on James Moffat's car, while Moff's former engineer Nathan McColl switches to Todd's car. Amongst the changes, there's stability, with the dynamic driver-engineer combo of Michael Caruso and Stephen Toddkill remaining together. I'm here with team manager Scott Sinclair. Scott, we made some minor tweaks to the engineering lineup over the break. Can you run us through those? Yeah, we made a few changes to the uh, to the way we were going to go about it this year. Obviously, um, George joins us on Car 15, uh, working with Rick, and George has got a lot of experience overseas, uh, working in Formula 3 and uh, a little bit in Formula 1. So he comes back to Australia after six years in the UK. Um, actually, did some. Did some race engineering at um, Dick Johnson Racing as well in the past, so he's got a wealth of experience which we're hoping to uh, improve what we do in the engineering department. R Rick and him will need to form their relationship going forward, but uh, that shouldn't be a drama. Um, Todd and um, James have had a straight swap on their engineers, so we've obviously got different personalities in the group and uh, that we think that they're going to be better suited together, uh, swapping the engineers over. So it's not it's not a significant change. Obviously, we all debrief together, and um, everyone knows how each other works. But uh, we need to raise the level of the three cars that uh, that weren't at Michael's level last year to get them to Michael's level, and then uh, the team obviously needs to take the four cars together up higher up the ladder. I'm here with Rick Kelly. Rick, you had a long-standing relationship with EP, but you're going in a new direction now for 2015. Yeah, I've enjoyed a lot of success with uh, EP over the years, including the championship win in 2006. And EP, myself, and, and the 15 crew have worked together here at Nissan Motorsport for the last two years, which we've quite enjoyed. But uh, 2015 brings with it a few changes, one of which is the engineer. And this year, we're heading um, in a different direction with George uh, Commons, which is very exciting for us. George has been involved in V8 supercars uh, a few years ago and has enjoyed a lot of experience as well in recent years overseas. So for us, it's something that we're quite excited about. Season 3 of the Nismo Insiders will give you a closer look into our Nissan V8 Supercars team. You can stay up to date on the team at nissanmotorsport.com.au or click here for past episodes.